सो वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ योर इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दैट इज स्ट्रेंथ इन पीटोरिक प्रॉपर्टीज टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस डॉबरी नस्ट्राइड्स न्यू लैंड ऑक्टिव्स लोथमेयर्स कर्व देन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मेंडली स्टेबल देन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मोस्टली स्टेबल देन आई वेंट इन टू अ कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज योर इनऑर्गेनिक ट्रिक्स राइट दैट इज पार्ट टू एज वेल एज पार्ट थ्री after that i have give, uh, given you the concept of the differences between that is your long form of table where i have discussed the differences between s block and p block then i did a video on d block and f block now i'll be starting with the concept that is trends in periodic properties so the first trend which you should study is atomic size and radius so i've already given this trick how to go about with uh, the questions or what are the different uh, tricks in atomic size watch the earlier video that is inorganic series 2 that now first of all whenever whenever i have to define atomic size atomic radius what is that it is basically atomic radius if i have to write the definition it is the distance between the center of nucleus okay center of nucleus of an atom to the to its outermost shell so outer most shell of electrons outermost shell of electron what is that outermost shell of electron that is nothing but penultimate shell isn't it penultimate shell so that distance between the center nucleus and the outermost shell that is electron this distance is called the atomic size atomic radius now we have shells here in between so first of all we can't uh, determine the absolute value of atomic radius why so let us uh, write the reason suppose if they ask you the question why can't the, uh, why can't the exact value or absolute value exact or absolute value of atomic radius absolute value of atomic radius cannot be measured okay cannot be measured suppose if they ask me this question what should i write so measured so basically i'll list out few points which are uh, means you can directly give it as an answer first important why can't i define atomic radius or exact value because to locate the position of an electron because electron keeps moving around isn't it right wave nature we have studied so the position of the exact position of the electron in an uh, in an atom okay as an optical orbit which it is it doesn't have any sharp boundaries so that position cannot be located when the position can be located it's very difficult for me to predict the exact size so the first point is uh, you should write exact position of electrons in an atom has no sharp boundaries sharp it doesn't have any sharp boundaries that is the reason i can't predict the this one because this is the distance between nucleus and electron that is one next important thing is suppose if i have to speak about the second point it's not because uh, to determine the size it's not possible to isolate individual atom i can't separate an individual atom uh, for its for determination of size isn't it just like the second isolation of individual atom is difficult so because i can't isolate i can't measure the atomic radius also now in a group if i take a group of atoms the probability distribution means how how much is the distribution of electrons so that also is very difficult isn't it yes so next important thing is and i have to speak in a group of atoms the probability we will first try to how to just present the answer then we'll explain that probability distribution of electrons is influenced by presence of neighboring atoms hence the size of the atom may change isn't it from environment to environment hence size of atom may change from one environment to another 
right so important yeah just take this so this is the reason we can determine the atomic size of ionic uh, radii right so this is the concept students so what is the last one in a group of atoms the probability distribution of electron is influenced by the presence of neighboring atoms so that electron distribution in one atom when they're present together the group of atoms this distribution on one atom is influenced by the distribution of other atom so during this process how can i measure the distance exactly very difficult isn't it so that is the main reason we can't predict the atomic radii now next important thing we are going to see the different types of atomic radii that is covalent radius van der waals radius because i can't say i said we can't determine the exact position i can't determine exactly what is atomic radii but we learn in terms of covalent radii a covalent radius van der waals radius metallic radius and ionic radius so what actually is covalent radius first we will draw the diagram and understand suppose i have two covalently bonded atoms this is one atom right there is one more atom which is covalently bonded the center of the nucleus is here yes now the covalently bonded atom let us make a boundary like this right i'm not drawing it to the scale please don't mind so this one and this is one line and i'm making one more line now this is your covalent radii now just see i'm drawing the diagram i'll explain it is half covalent radius definition is half of the distance between two successive nuclei okay once again this is half isn't it it is half of the distance between two successive nuclei and these nuclei what are they how are they bonded they are bonded covalently by a covalent bond isn't it yes right it can be like uh, it is called basically these are also called a single bond covalent radius once again what is covalent radius covalent radius is a it is the half of the distance yeah between two successive nuclei but what are they they are bonded by a covalent bond okay they are bonded by covalent that's why they are called as single co bond covalent radius suppose if the bond length between two atoms suppose let me take if the bond length between two atoms is a a and a these two are two atoms a a is small a i am going to take this as small b then what is the formula for finding covalent radius covalent radius covalent radius that is it is denoted by r covalent it is given by or it's half into it is internuclear distance between two covalently bonded atoms okay i'm writing that it is half into internuclear distance between two covalently bonded atoms bonded atoms that covalently bonded atom should be similar atoms minus half into a right so it is half of the distance and the formula for calculating covalent radius is this so half minus half into the nuclear distance uh, between two covalent atoms as the two covalently bonded similar atoms that is minus half into a that is the formula when you are uh, given a numerical you can directly apply the formula and write now i have to learn about van der waals radius let us draw the diagram and understand now i am drawing one bond now again i am drawing one more atom both are bonded right now let us draw the bond here in this way and one more atom this is also bonded this is also bonded so this is one and this is one now let us make one line here let us make one line from here till here this is called van der waals radius okay this is what radius this is van der uh, this is van der waals this is vr we can also write it as r van both are same so how am i defining van der waals radius is it is half of the distance between it is half isn't it half of it this is bonded this is half of it half of the distance or one half of the distance between two nuclei of non bonded isolated adjacent atoms once again van der waals radius is half of the distance between the nuclei of two non bonded isolated they are far away adjacent atoms belonging to neighboring molecules of an element of a solid state so the half of the distance is that particular half of the distance is called van der waals radius so hope students it is clear if you want i'll repeat it again please note it is one half of the distance between two nuclei of two non bonded isolated adjacent atoms belonging to two neighboring molecules 
two neighboring molecules that is van der Waals radius now let us draw metallic radius here again I am taking an atom then I am taking one more atom here the distance between these two this is called rm r means between metallic radius now how should you define it is half of the distance between any two successive nuclei because that doesn't do it the successive nuclei of which one of two metal atoms because it is metal these are all metal atoms so metal atoms in where are they placed in a closely packed crystal lattice so once again metallic radius is half of the distance between any two successive nuclei okay of two adjacent metal atoms in a closely packed crystal lattice that is called metallic radius hope this is clear students so I am just going with the definition because there is no place I am not writing the uh, thing here and I hope it is clear for you all let me I think this okay so let us write the last one that is your ionic radius so what is ionic radius basically it is the effective distance between center of the nucleus okay let us write it is a effective distance from center of the nuclei of an ion up to which it's, it has the influence of the over the cloud uh, electron cloud Okay, use effective distance in the center of the nucleus, okay, of an ion up to which it has an influence over electron cloud. Over electron cloud. So that is called ionic radius. So basically remember one important thing, students. Always you have to remember Van der Waals radius. is greater than metallic radius which is greater than anionic radius which is greater than covalent radius which is greater than cationic radius remember right so let us see what uh, like already i have given you uh, the factors affecting size what are the factors affecting size the factors affecting size are this is a defective that is nuclear charge number of orbits inner shells electron repulsions bond order all these i have already discussed in the inorganic series too so please watch the video students with this i'm done with the concept of size now we will start with the different questions based on concept of size all the reasoning questions which are there in jd lee so thank you for watching students stay connected any doubts please mention in the comment section